Hi guys, my name is Katie or KB Does Art and today we're going to be modeling a pool table. So first things first, what I would love for us to do is just start with probably a cube. Yeah, we'll go with the cube. Let's go ahead and make this width. Mm, we'll start with 20. And let's make the depth, I think like five. I'm gonna look up the measurements of a pool table and then we can kind of use that. All right, generally speaking, there are eight foot tables by four feet. So I guess we could just go by that, just do like eight by four technically. I could even double that and do like 16 by eight. That way we have a little bit more room. All right, let's do that. Okay, so this is gonna be the top of our pool table. So a pool table, as I'm sure most of you guys know, has a rim around the edge. So we can take this face and offset it in. And we'll use that as like the rim. So let's take that um, yeah, let's actually, let's go to the front view, click space. Let's take these vertices and I'm just going to move them down to be the thickness of what I think would be about the thickness of a pool table, probably about that. And then we can take this face and extrude it and then push the thickness down, which it's not super deep, maybe about there. I'm going to hide this grid. All right, so next up, what needs to happen is we need to bevel a lot of our edges so that they all stay kind of the same. Um, so let's just take, actually, I think I'm gonna bevel all the edges. So let's just select everything and then just do control B and I'll do two segments. That looks pretty good though. All right, so we've got our base of a pool table. Next up, let's add a multi-cut. So hold shift, hold right click and grab your multi-cut tool. And I wanna add a multi-cut going through the middle of that edge. And I also want to add some multi-cuts on these sides. So let's add probably just hold control and middle click and just make some like that. And then I also want to make extras going the long way like that. There we go. And then let's add a couple more multi cuts. I want to add one going like that. All right. Next, there's a couple parts that I want to kind of extrude. I want to extrude this bottom, so hold tab and uh, double click to select all of that. And then I actually want to grab these like edges, but not all of the edges, just some of them like this. And just keep doing that on each side. So add those like corners like that. This is just a little detail that I'm going to be adding in. Technically you don't have to do this if you do not want to. All right, so there we go. Next I'm just going to extrude and I want to up that thickness. Just to add that little like detail. And then I'm noticing that there's like little like spheres going on the side as like a little detail. I don't know if it's for like measurements or something like that, but basically it goes like three dots and then um, a hole three dots, a hole. So I think what I want to do is just put those in. 
So let's say the hole is going to be about here. So I could do like one, two, three. So I'm just going to move that, duplicate it, I'm going to move it to about that area. You can turn on your wireframe mode to be able to see that like that. And then I'm just going to take those three, duplicate them, and push them down to here. And then let's take these six, duplicate them, and push them over here. And there should be three on the sides as well. So let's duplicate those, Control D, and then do Control G to group them. And then rotate that. Uh, let's see, maybe, yeah, 90 degrees on the Y axis, then press W and move them. And then I guess I'm going to take this one on the side and bring him in since he got a little lost like that. And then just duplicate those and push them to the other side. And then I'm going to center these guys on this line. All right, so we've got a lot of cylinders. So what I would do is just grab all of them. I would group them. And you can just call those the cylinder decor or something. So we don't lose them. All right. I think now's a good point to maybe add in the legs. So pool tables look kind of different on how some of them are set up. So it can be, kind of be up to you on how you want to add your legs. I think I'm just going to like literally take these four faces and create legs from that. Um, so I'm just going to extrude them up the thickness on that, bring them on down. And generally they kind of taper like that, kind of like scale them up and out. I'm just going to scale it up like a little bit, but I'm going to scale it in too so they don't like protrude out. <laughs> All right, that seems good. Got some legs. All right, I guess now we should go ahead and tackle the inside like pockets um, and then also the um, obviously where like the parts come out. Um, I think in order to do that, I'm just going to take this guy and I'm going to extrude it and up the. Nope, that won't work at this point. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is just. Uh, I'll take these faces on both sides and extrude them, offset them in, and then extrude again and take that thickness maybe to like right there. And you can even take like each of those guys on the sides and um, extrude those guys and lower their thicknesses as well. I would also probably offset them in like a little bit. That way it's like almost disappearing right there. All right, so now we probably should tackle how to make those holes. What I would probably do is it kind of depends on like what function you need it for. Like if you need this to be like a working pool table, then you're going to need to like actually have to cut completely through the pool table so that the um, the almost like cave system that you're creating actually connects. For my purpose, it's going to just kind of be like a little standalone of like, oh, look, a pool table. Um, so I don't need it to look like that necessarily. Um, yeah. So what I would do is just grab a cylinder and then 
you're going to basically like tuck it into the corner here and I'll probably make it like that and then you're just going to be duplicating that same cylinder so they're all the same size and you can even take like two at a time and duplicate those together and move them and then duplicate them and do the middle ones all right these middle ones are a little different but it, it should work we'll see what it does we might need to like extrude a face in here like maybe take these faces right there and those faces and extrude and up their thickness like that that way they're like cutting through something and I'm going to extrude again offset that in and then up the thickness kind of hidden but that way you have like a cavern for the, the thing to cut through that's kind of what it needs generally for when we do mesh bullions difference it needs like a cavern to cut into all right, um, I think first what I'm just gonna do is take these edges on the bottom and just bevel them, uh, give them two segments. That way they're nice and straight. And then we can even do like mesh smooth to really make sure it like smoothed out. You, you might not have to, but it might be safe. I'm also gonna take these edges here on the inside and just bevel those real quick, give them two segments. Um, and then let's go ahead and select the object, select the cylinder, and just do mesh booleans. And do mesh booleans difference. And then you're just going to keep doing that same command, just selecting different cylinders at any point. All right, and then let's kind of inspect each of our holes, see how they turned out. Okay, so like this one didn't quite take all of the cylinders here. So you might just be able to select those spaces. Eh. So like that one didn't quite take all of the cylinder there, right? Didn't clip quite all of it. This one still has a face, which isn't bad because usually there are pockets. You could delete it if you want it to like go all the way through. All right, for the most part though, looks pretty clean, looks pretty good. All right, um, I'm trying to think of what else we might need to add to our pool table. Um, we could add some like small little spheres on it to be like the game that'd be kind of cute <laughs> just scale on down a sphere that looks about like the right size There we go. One of them you can take and assign a new material and make it white. Um, let's go to Arnold and grab a sky dome light. So as you can see, like this one would be the white one. <laughs> um, we can also take this object and assign a new material to it. Let's make the whole table on the floor like a deep brown maybe maybe a little like orangish and then we can take all of these guys and 
You can also go up on the sides, so all of these. Maybe go up like three. For that selection method, all I'm doing is clicking one and then double clicking the next and it'll take like the whole row. Also, you'll have to go in and like deselect the ones that are inside there. These guys. All right, grab this row, deselect the wall, deselect this wall as well. For this, I'm just holding tab. While you are selecting, you could also hold shift if you want to do it that way. All right, got all that. Um, I think I want to go up one more. So I'm just going to go up one more row. Might do another one too. We'll see. See how we feel about it. And then just go through and make sure you deselect each of those walls on the holes. All right, let's check these guys. Okay, that seems good enough. And then you can do assign a new material, shader, AI standard surface, and you can make that like the typical green pool table that you kind of see. Here we go. You can also take that group of cylinders that we did and assign a new material to that. Um, we can make this like a gray and then up the metal so that it's actually looking like metal. And then if you want, you can go ahead and um, texture all these different guys here. So some of them will be solids, so you can make them solids. And then if you wanna add like a stripe, all you need to do is go into face mode. Uh, let's first texture the whole thing. So let's make this guy like, I don't know, blue or something. Um, sure, we can make it blue. Actually, let's make this one red. So make it like red. And then to add a stripe in it, just grab, go into face mode and grab a couple rings, assign a new material to it and make it stripes. All right, I'm gonna do this one I'm gonna rotate and texture. I guess I'll make this one black, maybe. Actually, let's make this one like a blue one. And then take those same faces. and make them white. We'll make this one black. I'm trying to think of what other colors they use. I think they use orange, make like an orange one. And I think they also make Maybe like a deep purple. Yeah, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna add in a plane, push it on down so it's sitting on it. I'm gonna assign a new material to it. I usually do the checker texture, which is right here. And then I'm gonna save it since that is a smart thing to do. And you can click on Arnold and render to see how your pool table is looking. 
<laughs> it looks so cute. Oh, I also forgot. I wanted to make these faces here um, like that metal texture. So you can go through and just quickly grab all these faces. And I'm going to texture them to be like that metal texture. All right, and then you can assign that, um, you can do a new material, make it like a light gray and up the metalness. All right, let's see how that's looking. Nice, looks cool. If you don't want it to be that metally, you can up the roughness on it so it's not like that reflective. You can also texture that green portion. Let me delete all this construction history. If you find the green one, you can up the roughness on it so it's not so reflective. All right, that is it for this tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this was kind of a bit different than what I'm used to. So if you guys want me to try out some more complex stuff like this, I'd love to. Um, let me know. But yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. So I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.